In this video, I'll be showing it to you how you can create a link server to your Postgres database in SQL Server. So the first thing that you want to do is download the ODBC driver for Postgres SQL. You can get this from the Postgres website. So I'll be getting the latest version and I'll be download the setup XC. Let's open, agree to the terms and install. The installation has been completed successfully. Now let's launch the ODBC driver on Windows. So you have the OBC data sources and on the drivers, you should be seeing the Postgres ANSI drivers, right? Then the next thing that you're going to do is go back to DSN. Let's close these windows so they don't distract you. And then here you're going to add a driver to your Postgres database. So select add, then select the Postgres ANSI driver, then select finish. Specify the name of the database that you want to connect to. Let's say Postgres. S specify the server name. In my case, it's the local host. Specify your username and password as well as your port. Now, one thing to keep in mind is the database name is case sensitive. Now, the data source name can name actually anything. So I'm just going to say pgdb. Now, let's test the connection. Connection was successful. Select OK and save. Now let's go to Management Studio. Let's connect and let's go to Server Objects. Right click Link Servers and select New Link Server. Here, specify the name of your link server, PGDB. Then select Other Data Source and then from the drop down, then you select Microsoft OLEDB Provider for ODBC drivers. Then for the product name, you can specify anything like, for example, Postgres. Now for the data source is where you want to ensure that you specify the same name that you have in the DSN. So here I have PGDB. Again, your data source must be the same as the DSN. Then let's go to security and select be made with using the security context and provide the username that you want to connect to your Postgres database with. Let's go back to general and then select OK. Now let's expand link servers and do a test of the link server and our connection succeeded. Now let's expand, expand catalogs and here I can see my Postgres database and the tables that are in my Postgres DB. And that's basically it. For more training, you can check out my Udemy courses. The link is in the description of this video.